Setting up and programming 5-axis index systems doesn't have to be complicated. Let's take a look at how version 31 makes this easy by using Bobcad's 5-axis index systems. Okay, once you have your job set up, like you see here, we have a milling job and then we have our 5-axis machine. We've run our stock wizard and we have our zero set up. Our next step to define an index system is to go to the right mouse menu of your machine setup, down to additional functions, and then add index. From here, we can either choose a surface to define the index location or a UCS, a user coordinate system. In our example, we're gonna choose this surface right here. Now you'll notice that an orange arrow is displayed showing the Z positive direction for that surface. By choosing this surface, the software will calculate the angles needed to index to this face. Now that we've created our index system, our next step would be to create our toolpath. We'll right click on our index system and go down to mill two axis. In this example, we wanna profile this edge of the part. So we'll select the edge of the part that we wanna work with, and then we'll also pick the depth to define how deep we're gonna cut. From here, we'll go to our machining strategy and we're gonna choose profile rough. We'll type in the tool size that we wanna use, and then we'll adjust some of the settings in order to machine the part the way we want to. We'll add some leads. So the tool starts off the part and finishes off the part, and then we'll hit compute. And it's just that easy. Five axis indexing with Bobcad V31.